Hello Pisces, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate you. This is your mid-month of July till end of July. And we've got the eclipse in Aquarius, the full moon lunar eclipse in about a week. So the energies are very, very prominent. A lot is going to shift, a lot is going to change. Let's see where you stand at this point, Pisces. And this is love in general for Pisces. Spirit guides, angels. Okay. The root of the matter, Ten of Wands. In the recent past, the hanged man. Crowning your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. The outcome is the King of Cups. So we've got a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. <clears throat> or this could be your energy and you could be dealing with an Earth sign or another Fire sign. Let's see what the Divine Message is for you. I feel as though we're talking about a water sign. They, they could have water and Earth or water and fire. Strong fire. Now, where are you at at the moment, dear Pisces? How are you? What's the divine message? Where is Pisces at the moment? What is the divine message, Pisces? So we have the strength card. Beautiful. Now the strength card says that you need to be very patient to tame this wild beast. This is the energy of Leo. So it looks as though you are, you've had enough with your Leo and you are looking at another water sign, I would say. It's been too much of a burden being this with this fire sign. With the Ten of Wands, um, I'm going to take another card on the hangman. With the Ten of Wands being at the root of the issue, it says that there is a completion. It has been a burden and it breaks down to a one, the Ace of Wands, right? So you've started something, you've got fire beneath you, but then there is stagnation here and this is your energy. Pisces is your energy, Piscean energy. Neptune is at play here. You are receiving downloads from the universe. Listen, quiet yourself and listen. Let's see, one card on that. And we've got the Five of Cups. That's probably why you're stuck. Because you are crying over what has not worked out in your life. Now, this could have been a three-way situation. We've got Three of Cups spilled here. This could have been a love triangle. Maybe there was jealousy. Maybe there was too much flirtation. We all know that fire signs can be quite flirtious. Whereas Pisces, you are very different. You are very quiet. You are very, you know, um, very much more innocent. When you love, you truly love. You are ruled by Neptune. It's the divine, the higher octave of Venus. Sometimes you can feel like the doormat. You put up with how much you put up with. And maybe it's just been too much of a burden for you. So you are taking time out to heal, I can see. Now... There may be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, which is looking at you. This is someone who's on your mind. Uh, but I don't think we've got a, a knight and a king here. I, I seriously believe that you would be much more suited with the king of cups, both on an emotional level. Now, with the knight of pentacles, he's stopped in his tracks. He looks as though he's got a lot of fire, though. He may have strong fire in his chart. He's red all over, right? And that is, it could be the Mars energy now. Mars retrograde, right? I do see this King of Cups in the near future. Someone who is very emotional, very, they wear their heart on their sleeve, very similar to your energy, very similar. 
Some of you may be choosing between two, but I would say this King of Cups is where you're at. Now, the energy of Leo. Leo is all about true love, right? Leo is all about true love, but it's also about, you know, being creative and all that, creative and shining your light. But this is not the Sun card. This is the Strength card, which says that you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to do things like, do the things that you think you cannot cannot do like you have to you have to beat your your best like you know how we say it, there's a song coming to my mind hit me with your best shot you're going to go even higher than that you're going to have the strength to and I'm not saying to hit someone right <laughs> I'm saying that you're going to outbeat your your best efforts at this time. I believe that. With this card, you can tame any wild beast. Now, this is um, this could be someone who's quite sexual or sexual energy, right? And there can be chemistry between the two of you. But for me, mostly, this is wisdom. This is deals with wisdom. Be wise and don't don't go through the same mistakes that you went through before. Now, there's a period of mourning here. You're taking time out. The universe is has your back. Receive the news and just take it slowly. Take it slowly, dear Pisces. Let me take some Sibelas. And I want to look at the Knight of Pentacles. Now, if you are dealing with business too much, it's been too much of a burden. You've probably put those rods down. It's been too hard for you. So some of you are maybe taking time out. Emotionally, you don't look as though you're ready to get back to work. So whatever's happened in your emotional life, it's just been too much. You can't even work. You get to times where you think, no. No. Let's look at that Knight of Pentacles. And we've got the Amalato. Low morale, being ill, someone who's psychologically no good. Mercande, the merchant. Now, this is all about business. As I was just saying, now, this is your energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. If this is not someone else, because, you know, the tarot, there's many layers, right? The Knight of Pentacles, if this is you in business, it's not the right time for business. You're putting a lot of thought before you move forward. And you are looking to, to expand your horizons in international work. And so Spiri is like you've done some work already. You've sent those ships out and you are waiting on the return. So some of you may be actually thinking of travel because you are visiting someone who is not feeling well. Um... Now, you may have traveled trying to get away because you're not feeling up to doing much at all. I'm going to take three Sibylas on this strength card. Now, some of you may have a friend who is a Leo who might be there for you, who may be supporting you. Let me just take three Sibylas on the Major Arcana in the now position. Vedovo, which is the, the widower, someone being stuck in their past. Vecchia Signora, which is a visitor. And this is someone who can advise you. This could be a mother, an aunt, a grandmother, a mature female. And then we've got the La Reunion. So coming together, there is a meeting here. A meeting of someone from your past. La Reunion. Now, the Vecchia Signora could be someone that you haven't seen for a while. And there could be a reunion, a meeting with a family member who is very precious to you and they will be there for you. But here, when I look at these cards, now, if this is your energy here, let's say, right? 
then you have someone that is advising you and look we've got reunion with someone else or let's say that let's say that this is your partner it looks as though your partner is not very happy either right so if your partner is left out in the cold then you are coming together with someone from your past now someone from your past as i said could be a king of cups or it could be this earth sign here more than likely i would say this king of cups now the vecchia signora as i said is it could even be a situation which has matured and not actually be a person okay dear pisces so um yeah low morale someone is stuck in their past someone is still mourning i see three people not being happy now if this was a love triangle or there were three people in the situation i see that neither three are happy okay but with the Sospiri, it's like the three of, pen, uh, three of Wands. There is expansion and growth here, if we are talking about business. And if this is something that you feel passionate and in some, something that inspires you, someone that inspires you, then you are hoping and sighing for them to come in. You are waiting, waiting like, wow. And look at this. Check this out. Two people are actually facing each other. They're probably on different continents. And they may be coming together and this could just be the energy of low morale because they are missing each other that's another story here right okay dear Pisces I would like to thank you for being here I am doing the extended reading on Vimeo where I would be I will be pulling more cards I do hope that this was of help to you okay do keep well Thank you so much. Look out for the energies in the next few weeks, okay? But the eclipse is taking part in about a week. So, yeah, the energy is building up to that. Sending you my love. Bye now.